What up, everybody? It's your boy Haynes. We're back at it again for another video. I came across an interesting read some time ago, but I figured I'd go ahead and bring it up. And it's something that I'm a work in progress in, something that I need to work on. And maybe this is something that may shed some light on to everybody else for anything that they're trying to do or trying to make some changes in their lives. And the book is called The Five Second Rule. The concept is, is you basically count down, you know, five, four, three, two, one. And then you spring the action with whatever it is that you're trying to get done. And it doesn't have to be anything that's really too. It could even just simply be in, you know, hey, you hear your alarm in the morning versus you, you know, hitting the snooze button. You know, I've done it. I know there's a lot of people that's done it. Maybe hit the snooze button more than once, maybe three times. But is it basically telling yourself, you know, OK, after this five seconds, all right, it's time just to just really get up. So, you know, hey, five, four, three, two, one. All right get out the bed, cut off the alarm, and keep your momentum going. You know, brushing your teeth, getting ready for work, or getting up and ready to go to school, or if you have a career and stuff like that, to go ahead and get into it. Or even just something as small as, you know, cooking your breakfast, going to the gym, you know, doing things that really, you know, are important to you, things that are hobbies to you that maybe you've put on the back burner and never got a chance to do. Sometimes, like for me in the past, and I've done that too, sometimes there's things that you know that you need to accomplish, things that you know you need to get done, and you'll sometimes just stare, or at least I do. I'll stare at it. I know what i got to get done, but I'll just keep thinking about it so much that eventually I'll psych myself out, or you'll look at the time, and you'll be like, damn, I didn't even get it. I didn't even get it. I spent more time thinking about what I needed to do versus actually getting done for what I needed to do. You know, versus just, you know, just sometimes just count down, and be like, you know, just go for it. Just do it. You know, you may not even feel like it's like going to the gym. To yesterday, you may have already hit the gym. Your body's sore. You're tired. Uh, you didn't get that much sleep last night. But it's like, you know, count down. Still do it anyway. Because the more time, and, you know, time is very short, you know, and we don't have a lot of time. I mean, you know, in a sense of, as far as the day goes, you know, there's 24 hours in a day, but yet you still need, you know, eight hours of sleep, or at least most people, at least six to seven hours of sleep. And then, you know, depending on your life and what you got going on, there's other things that's going on that could take up your time, school, work, anything. So, you know, try to avail yourself with to however much time you have. And then honestly, try even doing that, you know, kind of because then what that does, is that holds you more accountable. That will push you to actually do what it is you need to do at that moment in time. Especially if you know something productive, something that you know that will actually help you to get to the next step. It could be, you can even use that. I've even read in there, like, in people who have, you know, different things they're struggling with, you know. Um, you can use that to help you just push for that urgency, push for that need to get something done. So, anyway, guys, it was, a, it was definitely an interesting concept, and I thought about it for a while. And, like I said, I'm not the king at the five-second rule. I'm trying to work on that. But uh, to anybody that finds that useful, definitely let me know. And if you want to know the name of the book and the author, DM me and I'll definitely give you that. And uh, to everybody out there, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.